Hey guys, people have been asking for uh, more sharpening videos and I'm assuming they're meaning freehand sharpening videos because that's what most everybody likes to watch. Um, so I looked around the house for something I needed to sharpen and I remembered that I pretty much ruined the edge on this knife to do the, the video on the burr sharpening 202, uh, the burr. So this knife has kind of an edge on it, but it, it's, well, it's actually pretty sharp, but it's honestly nothing like I want it to be. So I guess just for demonstration purposes, I'll go ahead and ruin the edge. And uh, hopefully that's not too much. <laughs> Definitely dull now. Alright, so I guess we're ready to sharpen. Um, I'm going to use this opportunity just to sharpen this knife up and make a video and also... Uh, let me check and see if you can see that. Which you can. And also I'm just going to break in these DMT stones. I got the these new 6x2s. I uh, really like these little stones. So used them a little bit but they're not fully broken in so figured I could just use this opportunity to do that go ahead and mark the bevel with my sharpie which I may lay the bevel back a little bit I uh, haven't decided yet but we'll see as we go what I feel like doing. I hope that was in frame. Um, I have the camera set in a strange way, so I don't know what's in frame and what's not. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and get to it. This is a combo stone, uh, coarse on one side, fine on the other side. I'm going to follow that with the extra fine DMT, follow that with the ultra fine Spyderco ceramic and the strop. So I guess I'll just go ahead and get to it. Pretty much matching my bevel perfectly there yep there you go no more sharpie uh, not really sure what kind of edge I'll get with these new DMT's because they do take a while to break in and they're super aggressive when you first get them uh, they are extremely aggressive until you break them in. Sharpening till I have a burr, which I already do because this is such an aggressive stone. So I'm going to switch to the other side. As you can see, no sharpie. Sharpie on that side, so it's time to flip. And if I'm sharpening on this side, then I'm going to form a burr on the opposite side, the side that's not touching the stone. So I'm sharpening on this side, which is going to form a burr on the visible side. So we flip it over to take care of the burr. Couple swipes to check our angle. We were a little low there, so we're gonna raise up a little bit. Check our angle, a little low still. And there we matched it perfectly. So we just take the muscle memory from, from the matched angle. And then we just commence to sharpen it. I know I rehash the same tips over and over in each video, but lock your wrists, support the blade with this hand. You can kind of feel, the good thing about having your other hand on the blade is that these fingers are very sensitive and you can feel any slight variation in your angle change. You can actually feel it in your fingertips so you know to either correct it or if you don't know how to correct it, stop and, and reset your bevel using the Sharpie and continue from there. So that's one big reason I keep uh, two fingers on the other side of the blade because you can, A, it keeps you on angle and B, it, it helps you feel if you're not on angle. So, I've already formed a burr on the other side, a pretty big burr. The stone is so aggressive because it's not worn in. So I'll show you what the edge looks like. 
that's the scratch pattern from the DMT stones. Actually a pretty edge. I mean that's if I wanted a toothy edge, I would leave it at that because honestly it, it's an attractive an attractive edge. It it looks cool like that. But it's a very, very toothy edge, so I don't want to leave it leave it that way. If you were gonna be cutting some really soft materials, uh taking the burr off at this grit and just leaving it, stropping it at this grit would leave you with a, an extremely toothy edge that would work well for that. So switching to the fine side, same deal, just trying to break these in. So I'll go ahead and mark the edge with more Sharpie. A Sharpie marker is a sharpener's best friend. On any system, freehand, sharp maker, edge pro, unless you have the the collar, uh, Sharpie is your best friend. Same thing, same drill, just with this change in grit. Checking my edge, and I've got the muscle memory down from, from doing this knife a little bit already, so I'm pretty much perfectly, perfectly on my, my angle. Yep, perfect. We're just trying to work a burr. If you're sharpening with these uh, diamond stones, these DMTs, you really, really, really want to uh, use light pressure. The diamonds are plenty enough aggressive to do the work. Uh, no matter what you hear, let the diamonds do the work. Uh, I've heard, I'm not name dropping Neptune. Uh, I have no issues with Neptune, but he's been telling people to use a lot of pressure with diamond sharpeners, and that's, it, it's the complete opposite of what you need to do. It will result in a dull edge and also damage to your stone. Diamonds are far, far harder than any steel that you're going to put up against them. So they don't need any help. As you can see, Sharpie is gone and the fine DMT stone leaves, also leaves a very attractive scratch pattern. And again, this may not leave me with the best edge because these stones aren't broken in and they're going to be extremely aggressive. Extremely aggressive for a little while. Almost there already. Just working till I form a burr, which I have. I'm going to go ahead and clean the burr off on this grit. Just doing very, very, very light alternating passes. Very light. I just did this to see, see what kind of an edge we have at this fine DMT. And it's, it's toothy, but it's actually really sharp. I have a little bit of a burr left on there. But if I pulled that off, uh, this would be satisfactorily sharp for most people. I mean, this is extremely, extremely sharp. If I didn't have that little bit of a burr, I'll go ahead and clean it off just, just to see what we can get. may be hard to clean the burr off just because these stones are so aggressive. They're going to keep keep applying a burr every time I make a pass. I'm just checking sharpness on this this grit just for my own personal knowledge. Just want to see how it acts. It's wet there. 
It's actually pretty sharp. Uh, even though the stones aren't broken in, it's already really, really sharp. So that's that's good to know. And the, the sharpness that this stone is able to achieve will keep getting greater and greater as the stone wears in. Uh, it will be able to put on a sharper edge as time goes by, as the, the diamonds wear in. They're, they all come super aggressive until you wear them in. So, ready to move on to the extra fine diamond stone. And I'm going to check our focus which is right on and we're kind of running out of time I'm at around 11 minutes right now I think I'll show you the scratch pattern of the fine DMT it's actually really attractive also nice it's not shiny but it is reflective so that's pretty cool it just looks like a nice a nice clean grind I'm gonna go ahead and speed this process up Stop running my mouth so much. All right, need to wet this stone. Don't it doesn't need to be super wet, and you actually don't even have to use them wet. You can use them dry. This stone has a lot of little bumps in it, and uh, I'm not sure why that is because my other extra fine DMT doesn't have these little bumps. I'm hoping they'll wear in, but if not, then this stone may be going back to DMT. And I'm hoping they don't ruin my edge. I don't know if you can hear it, but it just feels like these little peaks that are slamming into my edge. Does not feel good. All right. Definitely have a burn ready to flip. Definitely got a clean bevel. Very clean bevel. Love the scratch pattern that you get from from the extra fine DMTs. It's it's very clean. It's almost the beginnings of a mirror polish. Which is very attractive. Ooh, that was low angle. All right, I think we're ready to move on to the ultra fine Spider Coast ceramic stone. Yeah, the the scratch pattern that was left by this extra fine DMT is actually the beginnings of a mirror polish, which is really cool. How much time do I have left? Six minutes. Only six minutes. Gonna go ahead and lay my freshly cleaned Spider Co ceramic, my ultra fine check focus, which is good about right there. I need to hurry. Just gonna go ahead and polish the bevel up with this stone. It should be able to take the scratch pattern out of that uh, extra fine DMT. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I may need to amend my beginner freehand sharpening kit. This may be the fewest steps from butter knife dill to mirror polish.
just raising my angle trying to clean any burr that may be on there off which doesn't always work if you left a burr on there from a lower grit then it's really tough to get it off on these higher grit zones go ahead and check sharpness extremely sharp that's what we want right there that is probably close to hair hair whittling sharp uh, right off the, the spider coast on very sharp do have a little bit of a burr uh, I'm gonna try and cl clean it off You can actually hear a burr break off in this ceramic stone. There we go. Almost burr free. Three minutes. I don't know if you can hear it, but when you break a burr off, it almost sounds like you ran over a piece of sand on the stone. It just sounds like a piece of grit, like a little piece of contaminant was on the stone. And that's what it sounds like when you, you break a little piece of a burr off. And I think our edge is clean. And it is sharp. Ooh, that is extremely sharp. Extremely sharp. This may be the shortest route from butter knife fill to to hair whittling mirror polish. Uh, I may need to do a, a new video. Of course this is a quick and dirty edge and not representative of how sharp I can get a knife, but it is extremely sharp. I would guess it's it's close to hair whittling after I deburr it and everything. There's a couple of catches where there's a little piece of a burr, but the parts that are I may have may have deburred it on the strop just then. Yeah, there's a little piece. Little piece left on there. Very sharp though. Very sharp. Anyway, show you the edge since we only have like a minute left. As you can see, it's the full mirror, which is really surprising. I wasn't expecting a, I wasn't expecting that ultra fine ceramic to be able to take take the extra fine DMT all the way to a mirror polish. It's actually pretty surprising. You can see it better on this side, I think. If I could get it in focus. Beautiful edge though. Very beautiful edge. Let's see if I can get in a little closer. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I think I'll try and refine this a little bit more and and get it to my level that I like it to be. Because it's not quite there yet, but it just takes a little concentration and a steady hand to get it there. It's just a little piece of a stubborn burr that doesn't want to come off. But as you can see, man, it is, it goes through that paper like it's not even there. Wow. I wish you could feel it. I love these mirror mirror polished edges they're clean and they just cut through the paper with ease how quiet it's really quiet anyway thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time